Another Geek of Clans, Jeffrey Powers here from Geek of Clans, youtube.com forward slash Geek of Clans. And today we are taking a look at Steve JB06. And uh, this is kind of a little bit out of my league, but I knew I could get at least, uh, I was hoping for 50% off of this. I, I didn't really get this, but I just, I, it was a great camp when I, when I approached it. It's a very interesting wall setup. As you can see, the center wall it's not really square. It's kind of um, it's kind of got an X shape to it, uh, turned on its side. So maybe I guess you could call it a cross, uh, not fully cross. But then you have these outer walls, which hold a lot of their troops uh, or a lot of their defenses, and of course the outer area, which has all of their mining facilities and 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 camps and stuff like that. So very interesting camp, uh, and and uh, so I decided to attack it. The one, the two, the, basically the, the biggest problem was this right here. These, they had two Expos and they had uh, two Inferno Towers. And so I had to, I had to figure out a way to take out those four things first. Usually I worry about the Wizards Towers, but as you can see with their Wizard Towers, they're all, they're, they're, they're not to the level that I want. These, uh, this one's level five. This one looks like oh, level two. So they didn't focus on upgrading uh, as as the game kind of wants you to. Um, they put down two Expos. They put down, looks like the, they just got a Archer Queen, and their uh, Barbarian King is level two. So those were easy. Those are easy easy targets for me. Actually, three three crossbows. I, I can't believe I didn't see that third one there, and I knew about it. But uh, anyway, the two Infernos, this is the big thing. And these are all level one Infernos, but for me, that's uh, that's a tough one. So let's take a look at how this attack happened here. So we're going to go back. We're going to go to the attack log. And we're going to go to Steve JB06. And as you can see, I hit 58% and only one started. So I did I did my attack right. But those Inferno Towers, well, you'll see what happens here. So uh, I used nine dragons, eight hog riders. That's my standard right there. Uh, I had five archers for some reason. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that, that's what the clan donated, five archers, Barbarian King, Archer Queen, level eight, level, I think Archer Queen was level two at the time. I don't know why it's saying level three. But uh, anyway, uh, three heals and one speed up spell. So let's hit the replay button. Let's see what happens. So here we are in this star cross theme. I come from the east because I thought that would be the best attack here. I put down the dra dragons right away in the first wave attack. Once again, Always trying to get 25%. Um, put down a heal spell, and then, of course, that's going to be followed up by a speed-up spell and another heal spell right away, because I was hoping that one of those dragons would attack the first uh, tower here. But they did not really focus too much on the tower. They did get the Expos. As you can see, the Expos are ground, not air and ground Expos. So that kind of helped on that. The other dragons kind of split apart, which sucked which meant you know as you can see my my spells were uh, left unused i used my hog, hog riders from the west to try and divert some especially that inferno tower i put down another heal spell uh to try and get the uh get things going there um but as you can see it was just way too much even for the heal spell so the inferno towers took care of that i'm not going to get to the center uh but i did get an overall of 58 percent, which isn't bad isn't bad, but this is a very interesting defense uh, that they set up here. It's um, kind of a box box situation. If you look at it, you, you look at the square, and then you uh, turn it ninety or forty five degrees, you'll see another square there. So, but as you can see, I put my barbarian king in, my archer queen to try and get up to the fifty eight percent. I got my first star off of that, which is technically what I was really expecting out of this whole thing, but. I definitely didn't do what I wanted to do. Um, in hindsight, maybe I should have attacked from the north because that would have gotten me to the uh, to the center a little bit faster. But uh, yeah, definitely it was uh, it was a little bit past where I uh, I am in my uh, in my defenses uh, and offenses. So I uh, ended up uh, I ended up winning by ten ten trophies. And uh, but I didn't get the town hall, which is, of course, very important. And of course, the 25 percent in the first uh, the first 30 seconds really didn't matter too much on that. So anyway, that was Steve JB 06. 
So congratulations to you on that. Uh, and, of course, the star wall defense, uh, as, as I'm calling it. So uh, if you've got anything, if you want to talk to me about anything, let me know. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Geek of Clan. Uh, all, of course, you can also uh, find me over on Twitter, over at Geekazine. Think Magazine. Put in a geek. You've got Geekazine. Jeffrey Powers here. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, geek out. <laughs>